Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and this is your weekly tarot guidance for the week of July the 25th through the 31st, 2016. Last week of the month already. Can you believe it? And what a month this has been. It has proven to be somewhat of a game changer for many of you as to how you're leading your lives, decisions that you've made, things that are going on, forward movement taking care of old business. Wow. Yes. Busy, busy month. But we have to remember Mars went direct at the end of June. It took a little while to get going. And so what do we have going on this week? Right? Yeah. Mars is still direct. It's still in Scorpio. It won't move on into Sagittarius until next week. So we'll talk about that then. But this week, you know, we have at the beginning of the week, we still have Mercury and Leo and Venus in Leo, and also the Sun in Leo. Okay, now, here's where we start talking that what's coming, where, you know, that season that's coming up. Because on the 30th, Mercury, it didn't spend long in, in Leo, mind you, maybe like two weeks. It's moving on into Virgo. Why am I saying it that way? Yeah, all right, it's going to be there till October the 4th. The seventh. I'm sorry. Can't read my own handwriting. Now, now, why is this? All right. Okay. It's going to go retrograde on the 30th and it won't go direct until September 22nd. So there you have it. It's like a big wow. Another one, another Mercury retrograde for this year. Now, mind you, that's not this week. Okay. It won't happen. The retrograde won't happen for another month. But once it enters Virgo on the 30th, it won't be leaving until October the 7th. So keep that in mind. Whatever is going on, you know, within your communication realm, pay close attention because that's going to be the theme for a while. Let me see. Oh, and of course, Uranus retrograde. Now, that's actually going to start on the 29th and it won't go direct until December 29th. It does the same thing every year. It only varies a little bit by a few days each year how that occurs. Now, when I do an article, uh, a written post for Uranus Retrograde, I will include a link somewhere within that post which allows you to have a better understanding written by astrologer Lynn Coiner explaining to you um, how Uranus Retrograde can affect you depending more upon your own personal chart so that you have an understanding of it because it will mean different things for different people. Okay, but I'll do my best to make sure everybody has all the info that they need. So now, what about this week? I think so many of you have finally gotten way past that focusing on the loss, that why me, why me, why me? Okay, which is good. It's very good because the last five years have been very difficult times for many of you. But you know, the, the finally looking forward and taking stock of the things in your life that are positive and, you know, just trying to be a little more carefree each day. It's important. I mean, I always feel this way that no matter how bad things are, and we all, we've all heard this saying, but there's likely someone out there whose problems are way worse than whatever we're experiencing. So I think that it's the idea of not feeling as overwhelmed. Maybe you know that down the road in the future, you're finally working things out, okay? Where as before, you just didn't know. This time last year, you were like, well, what the, what is, is going on? I can't find any solutions. It just is all crumbling and falling apart. And okay, <laughs> so like that's how, it, how you've been feeling. But you know, you're going with the flow a little bit better with the universe now. And we spoke before about routines changing. Wow, they've changed for all of you, haven't they? Absolutely. Are you doing the same thing you were doing a year ago? And if you're still at the same job, the same house, the same relationship, are you doing it the same way? Likely not. Okay, things have changed but you're learning. Learning to go with the flow and also learning to, I want to say, know what your true priorities are in life, okay? 
like I said, being wise enough not to focus on all that crap from before that you couldn't do anything about. It's going to go away in time where, you know, you've gotten past it completely and you're working on a new beginning. And I keep saying it really feels like October is a much more settled month. We still have a lot that's coming. Okay, keep that in mind. There's three eclipses, one in August, two in September, another Mercury retrograde to deal with, which I just mentioned. Okay, and so we're leading into all of that, like right now. So this is our last week of the month, and let's make it one where we try to keep our focus toward the future and that cleaning up of anything. If there's any details that come up that need to be handled to deal with the past, then deal with them. There's kind of this feeling of like getting while the getting's good. You know, that saying like, let me out of here. Um, and that's in, in the sense of getting away from the difficult times. Okay. Just saying to yourself, this is, this is more like personal feelings. You know, when you stop and you reflect on your life and you go in and you listen to your inner voice, that voice is going, yay, yay. It, look at what you have done. Look at how far you have come. Last year, you didn't think anything, you know, that this was possible. So it's amazing. This is like a huge victory for you. And it, at times, I don't know how to put it. It's almost you feel like you've gotten away with something. That's what I'm saying. Like getting away while well, the getting's good because it it's just, it's time to move on toward the future. And that's where this upcoming season is going to take you. So I, even for my own self, I don't know what it holds, but I want to say to each and every one of you, have no fear because as we finish out this month and we begin next month and we start seeing more shifts in energy and things happening with retrogrades and eclipses and you name it all right life is changing but when we come out on the other side of it around october the 7th or the 8th i keep saying the 8th that will really be um a much different time it's just it's difficult to comprehend in all honesty that that's just like i'm where i'm with the rest of you i'm like what can it all mean but it definitely means something. And I think we should all be taking notes so that we can write a book, okay? Because we are all in this together. Now, when it comes to the battles that you've been fighting, what battles are you winning? The ones that have left you feeling trapped in the past. You See, you're reaching a point now where like finally things have been happening in these last two weeks that you realize that you are getting away from it. Whereas before you were kind of like, stalled you know with all those retrograde planets back in the spring and leading on into the summer and okay depending upon which hemisphere you're in fall and winter but it's that kind of a thing like now you know hey i'm not stuck there anymore i can see my way out of this you know the past mm -mm, i'm looking toward the future so it's a big focus shift that's taking place for you but it has just taken you a very long time to see it, but that's okay because you're seeing it. And are things perfect in your life? Oh, absolutely not. But you know that the potential is there to change them because I think so many of you are finally realizing the power of the universe is within you. It's within yourself. What can you accomplish? Pretty much anything that you want. You know, I've had this conversation with many clients about being able to start from the ground up, clear away the debris, rebuild your life, and start something that is so completely new and different that you wouldn't even recognize it. Now, for all of my worry warts out there, all right, stop. Just stop, okay? Change is coming. It's coming, but get your facts pay attention to the facts, have conversations with the right people, make the right choices. All right, you're going to be doing all of this over the next couple of months. 
So we're here, we're at the end of July, I want to say August and September, which is why as we roll into October, we're going, whew, what a ride, right? What a ride. So there's a lot of focus toward finance, whether it's through your home life, your job, your relationships. You're working on all of it, mind you. If it needs to be worked on, you're working on all of it. Clarity, I want to say for most of you, is improving tremendously once you get past that worrying stage, okay? And remember once in a while that, like, I would say this week, pick a day where you can just go, be quiet with your thoughts, and relax, all right? If you can do it with no one else around, that's perfect because there's a lot that's coming and you need you need need a little rest. I'm not saying this in a bad way. I'm saying this isn't in a good way because so much change has been happening and things are things are starting to move like each day for the most part with the energies that we have, you're seeing the shifts and the changes that are taking place around you. So, uh-huh. Yeah, take a break whenever it's available to you. You're going to need it. Now, about that rebuilding. Yes, the information you need is coming your way. Whether it comes in the form of help, whether it comes in communication, but the changes are coming in. You may not see them all coming, okay? But they're there. They're going to come in provide more stability for you. And I think it also brings, it's like a, a matter of confidence, all right? Confidence that could have been lacking for some of you for quite some time, because while you put on the brave face and you kept on going, it was not easy. It was not easy at all, you know, but here you are working on bringing peace and harmony to your relationships, to your future and in such a way that really I mean I still keep wanting to just say October October big month for many of you because the real big month is going to be September so when all that clears away and subsides you know so September may come through your life like a steamroller helping you really get things going all right a lot of karma involved there but see it's rolling along now. You're, you're kind of at the beginning of something where I want to say it's like you can see it. You know, like you've just walked out the door and you're like, okay, I'm ready for this part now. I'm done grieving over the old part and I'm ready for the new part. So you walk out the door, no clue which way you're going to go. And where do you head? Hmm. It's all up to you. And that's what August and September are about, is finding your way, picking that direction, okay? You're going to make quite a few choices along the way, which are going to put you somewhere totally different by the time October the 8th arrives. And I am always so in awe of this, and also in awe of all of you, all right? So you're going to close the doors on the worrisome parts, Hallelujah, right? Hallelujah. You know, it's amazing. It was a cycle that it was inevitable. It was unavoidable. It was just there. It will be done. It will be done. And October, you will be moving on, moving away from it. New doors will have opened. I think every video that I do, I must speak about being practical but it is so necessary for this phase and on into the next phase to carry that practicality with you okay because what you're creating here is a, a life where you don't feel dependent upon another person for you know keeping yourself together whether it's your emotional well-being, your financial well-being, because for those of you who are suffering in any category, I think you've learned the hard way that the other person or anybody that around you isn't always going to stand there and help you out. 
some of you are fortunate enough that maybe someone helped you financially, but someone else robbed you emotionally, right? So this is that I want to stand on my own two feet. It's not about wanting to be alone, okay? Doesn't mean that at all. It means that you have this sense of self-sufficiency for your life, for yourself, that you're in understanding that now when it comes to relationships, they no longer need to be a burden to you, all right? This is amazing. So I think you kind of draw in a smaller circle of friends. You know, at this point in time, you're realizing who is, who isn't. There's a lot that's happening here, okay? Whoever is close to you now, like in the true sense, will still be with you when you get to October. But I think there will be some new people coming into the picture at that time. We'll have to see what happens with that because there are, are commitments coming for the future that are not yet seen. Mm hmm right? See, so this is about that working on you and being the best you that you can be. And for those out there whose only focus is a love relationship, please listen to this a second time, okay? Because once you've gotten this and you understand this, you'll be well on your way to having that long-lasting relationship. Let's pull some more cards. How could I forget? Oh my goodness. My friends will be laughing at me. They'll be messaging me saying, oh, I think you're funny. All right, let's see what we have here. I always do this and I forgot about it, right? Yeah, no time to be sitting still, okay? Things are moving, ah, right? The pace is changing. It's definitely changing. So you can't be idle. Remember that because otherwise things are just going to pass you by. That's important to remember because we talked over here about all of the things that are that are happening and taking place. This is definitely a month where there's movement and you have to notice. You, how can you not notice what's going on, right? So many things happening. So let's see. See, we're still gearing up for that equinox, okay? I think that's when you notice your success is after the equinox has passed, which is around, what, September the 20th, somewhere in there. Just keep that third week in September in mind after we've passed the eclipse season. And I know I always preach that slow and steady wins the race, okay? I'm always talking about being practical. It is just, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is for your life right now to proceed in such a manner that you are perceived, whether it's at your job, in your community, within your family, within a relationship, as being reliable, dependable, and on the ball. Not someone who's scattered and running here and there and has no clue what they're doing, okay? So practicality is your friend. Remaining organized is your friend. Remember that. Now, many of you may not have realized that back at the solstice when you thought, bam, things were going to be just instantly different. And for some of you, they have been. I've been hearing some really nice messages. The thing of it is, is that you entered this transitional phase. It's taking you, like I keep saying, on to October. All right. There will be things that by then you will be done with. These next two months coming up are very important. This week, it is important to do as much work as you can possibly do, all right? You know, the end result is starting a, a really fresh new chapter. That's what you're setting out, like, right now, okay? Just think of it this way. When you walk out that door this week on Monday, which way do you want to go, all right? What is it you want to do in your life? Ready for a brand new adventure because it's coming, not only will your cup be full, it will eventually be overflowing. You just have to maintain the clarity to do this <sighs> and follow the rules. Wow. You know, but I think the rules are more, not so much society's rules, but learning the rules of the universe. Because by now, 
many of you have come to terms with the things that have happened. And you and the universe are learning to play nice together. So I like that. I want to thank you all for listening. I'll see you here again next week. And it will be August, my friends. Take care.